Hello everyone, welcome to another exciting episode of Chloe and the Professor. I'm Jay Williams, host of the After Show. When we last left our intrepid seekers of knowledge, they were lost in the wasteland of YouTube comments. They've since escaped from there, but now find themselves in an even more dangerous situation. Let's now go live on location. We got away from that sandworm, but where the heck are we now? It looks like we're in the land of the fanboys. No no no, anything but fanboys. I understand your frustration, but don't worry. We'll make it out of this. Professor, I'm not sure you understand just how vicious these guys can be. Give me some credit, Chloe, I know everything there is to know about fanboys. I do indeed understand what we're up against, which is why I'm not worried. Okay, but if these are Call of Duty fanboys we might be screwed. Not to worry, I've got this. <laughs> Looks like some Xbox and PS4 fanboys are in a skirmish. This is our chance to find some shelter. That was really close. I can understand why you don't like fanboys. They can be mean and aggressive. Why, Professor? Why are they like that? That is a question with a complex answer. It delves into concepts people don't want to hear, because they are inconvenient truths. And what is that? Poor quality of education, an egocentric culture, and a system that no longer serves the common good. Fanboyism is simply one of many symptoms stemming from this. It's an attitude born from apathy, egotism, and a pathological desire to escape from the harshness of reality. This is also why they're so aggressive towards those who don't share their opinions. They see anything that doesn't agree with them as a personal attack. Wait, are you saying this is a problem that runs that deep? Yes, Chloe. Our society has problems, and some people want to desperately escape from them rather than face them. Thus they cling to things that allow them to, for a little while, escape into another world. This is how fanboyism starts. If the causes of the problems run so deep, how can we possibly fix them? That, is a very good question, Chloe. The first problem is education, or the lack thereof. Education has been under attack in the past several years, but, that, is a symptom of a much broader issue. What is that? We are living in a system that simply doesn't function anymore. Many communities embrace an egocentric culture. Families teach their children that survival of the fittest is paramount. There's apathy all around. People have been lied to by those in position of power for so long, and the middle class has been vanishing. Wait, what does this have to do with fanboys? It has everything to do with them. What do you think is the root cause of their behavior? You have to look at this from the much larger perspective, and you need to have an open mind. The close-minded are too egocentric to be able to see the truth. They're far too quick to blame an easy scapegoat, like violent video games. I often play violent video games, and they don't make me violent. In fact, several studies have debunked the notion. Exactly. The answer to why fanboys are so negative is directly connected to a much deeper societal problem that has endured for far too long. The most basic, fundamental answer is the system our society is based on is broken. I could go into why, but you need only look at what is going on in the world to see for yourself. We can't continue this way, something has to give. The status quo must end, for all of our sakes. If the problem runs that deep, that broad, then what can we possibly do to fix it? First, if you are old enough, get out and vote. I can emphasize just how important that is. Apathy and low voter turnout is what got us into this mess. That needs to change. We need people with new thinking, new ideas, and we aren't going to get that with the current establishment or anyone associated with it. I agree, our politics the past 10 years has been a shameful mess. We have leaders who work against one another, and nothing gets done. That is until someone with enough money to grease the wheel comes along, otherwise we have a system that simply does not function anymore. I'm glad we have these talks, Professor. It puts things into a much broader perspective. I just never realized this one was that broad, 
not everyone is willing to look deeper into an issue like this to find the roots of the problem. They stop at the first thing they find, and their ego tells them to blame that rather than keep looking. This is why video games are such an easy target for close-minded people who let their egos blind them to the broader truth. What was that? It looks like we were spotted. What are we going to do? You're going to slip out the back way. Wait, what about you? I've got this, the day a bunch of fanboys can get the better of me is the day EA shuts down Origin. But... No buts, you get going. I've got noobs to pwn. I'm going to put the fear of Gaben in them. Okay, just be careful, Professor. <laughs> Holy crap. I had no idea the professor knew how to fight like that. I almost feel sorry for those fanboys. I'd better get out of here. It's so dark here, I can't see anything. This has to be one of those fanboy controlled social media groups. Their hate has sucked all of the life out of this place. Wait, I think I see a way out over there. That looks like the park near the university. Finally I can go home. Hi, there. Oh, Mina. I'm so glad to see you. I found you some time ago. The professor sent me a text asking me to look for you. So, he's okay then? Yes. He said he had some business to attend to and wouldn't be back till morning. He's the professor. I should have known he'd be just fine on his own. He's fine. But how are you doing? It was scary. Afraid of a few fanboys? Not so much anymore, now that I know why they are that way. That's good. I don't like seeing you unhappy. I do wonder though. What is the professor doing? I don't know. He didn't tell me. Go screw yourself, Copper. I ain't telling you nothing. <laughs> It'll be the ban hammer this time. Tell me where I can find the microtransactor and I'll talk to the DA. Bite me. My boys will break me out of this place, and then, we'll swat your live stream. Pig. Want to play it hard? Then we'll play it hard. You'll be our guest for a long time. And, if, your boys, Shut up, we will show them the true meaning of 360 no scopes. I take it she wasn't cooperative. These game hackers rarely are. We have to find the microtransactor. In the wrong hands it can be a dangerous weapon. Exactly how dangerous is this thing, Professor? In the right hands, it can be well balanced, but, in the wrong hands, it can lead to pay to win. Oh my Gaben, this is serious. Now you understand what's at stake. I'll put all of my best people on this right away. And I'll start calling in every favor I've got. If that artifact is used improperly it could mean the end of our gaming world as we know it. How did the Call of Duty gang get their hands on it in the first place? They stole it from EA, who were abusing it in secret. That would explain the sudden decline in their games and SimCity. We'll have to look into this. How did EA get something so dangerous? Apparently, EA acquired it from the Koreans. Let's hope we can find that thing soon. If we don't, every gamer who can't pay will get ganked by those who can. I won't let that happen. Not on my watch. I trust you had no difficulties acquiring the item. I got to the drop location. But you said nothing about the professor getting involved. The professor? That is going to complicate things for my employer. No duh, Derpenstein. Were you seen? Were you followed? No, he was too busy trying to protect some silver-haired Lolita goth chick. That would be his assistant. You got your item, where's my money? You'll be paid through the usual channels. For now, keep a low profile. Oh, and stay by the phone. 
I will be calling upon your services again in the very near future, fine, but with the professor involved my fee just doubled, money is no object. Mr. Andrews, just do your job, and you'll get paid. Yes sir, we have the item. We are close to locating the second artifact. I'll inform you once we have it. Also, sir, the professor knows about the artifact, but doesn't know we have it. Yes, he may quickly become a liability. What are your orders? Understood, I'll see to the preparations myself. Goodbye. 